morning. Hi, baby. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. We definitely have a busy day today. I have to deliver a package that we are sending to our friends that are overseas, and I gotta go get my grandparents' Christmas gift. I feel like grandparents are very hard to search for, so if you're on the lookout, I have the perfect idea for you. Today, I'm just packing up this little box. It's going to our friends that are over in Iraq, so we gotta get this off before Christmas. I'm a little bit late. I should have done it a week ago, but we will get it to them. Might be a little late though, sorry. So we are just packing up a bunch of Christmas candy, some ornaments, some mints and stuff like that. Something that everyone would like. Old pine cones, who wouldn't want that? Alrighty, let's get this mailed out. Well, we got that done. I always forget how long the line is in the at Christmas time in the post office. Just do it online first and print out your own label at home. There's no way I could ever wait in that line, honestly. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go get my grandparents' Christmas gift. You guys will never guess what it is. These are so good. Little cookies. These are what they like. Peach halves and white grape juice. How many should I get? Eight? Is that good enough for a Christmas gift? Ladies and gentlemen, we got Mama and Papa, their peaches. <laughs> that place is so packed. What is up? The po I think I went to the busiest places out there, Trader Joe's and the post office. Oh, I hear, oh, there's an ambulance. Dear Jesus, please help whoever they're going to. Alrighty, let's get home before traffic picks up. Honestly, I wanted to shop a little bit more, but someone asked if I was ready because their booth was open and I panicked and said yes. So that's all I got was peaches and those Christmas cookies that I really like. <laughs> So I am home now. I just made a cup of coffee. So good. <laughs> I have to have one in the evening. Not after six o'clock though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I thought I would eat one of these super festive Christmas cookies. They're called the Lebkuchen cookies, sugar glazed Lebkuchen cookies. And has a little bit of history on it that I didn't know. So I tried these last year. I thought they were super good. Went back, they were sold out. So I got them again this year. And it says on the packaging, it says the Lebkuchen comes from a bakery in Nuremberg, Germany, where it has been for over 600 years. Historically, monks began adding a flavorful dough to the wafers being made for mass. And over time, more ingredients and spices were added to make the product that you are enjoying today. Well, I say we try it. Um, I do I do remember thinking that they were kind of different and weird, like it was a cookie I had never had before. Um, I'm like, it has like this red line. <laughs> I'm like, that's probably how you open it. Terrible packaging for keeping it fresh though. Oh, it smells like, um, oh, it smells like a gingerbread cookie. There's the cookie. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so Christmassy and delicious. Okay, let's give it a taste. I love like glazed things because it reminds me of a donut. Wow, that is Christmas in a cookie. If you guys have a Trader Joe's close to you, you have to go and try this. I think this is the best festive thing I've ever had in a cookie anyway. I like that it's soft on the inside. Usually when you have store-bought cookies, they're not really soft on the inside. Honestly, I think it's a 10 out of 10. I don't think there's anything I would change. Well, I'm just gonna enjoy my little cookie, watch an episode of, can you tell what that says? <laughs> and I will see you all in a little bit. Okay, quick little story time. So I've been thinking about this really the past couple days. It's something that happened to me 
that was quite infuriating and honestly just scary. I don't know why I'm sharing it, I just feel like I should. Because there's a lot of people out there that probably face similar things and I don't know, it's just a wild thing. So to give some background, I was driving home from being out and about and it was snowing, it was really bad out and it had kind of just started to snow. It was way below freezing and the roads were obviously bad. Looking back, the roads were probably too bad for me to be out and about, but I needed to go grocery shopping. So I got my essentials and then came right back home. So on my way back home, there's this turn off I have to turn towards and it had some ice on it, some black ice. I kind of saw it, um, so I was preparing for it, but whenever I rolled over it, the anti-skid kicked in and you kind of lose control of your vehicle, but I was slowly coming to a stop so I knew I would be okay and I'd be able to make the turn. And the lady that was about to turn in to where I was turning saw everything that was happening. Now at the same time, the guy behind me is all confused on why I'm slowing down and proceeds to just honk his horn for nonstop for the entire time that I'm slowing down to try and get control of my vehicle again. Now during that time, he kind of gets next to me He's flipping me off, screaming at me. I look at him and I go like this, to slow down. Like I did that and I was trying to say I have to slow down and I don't know what happened but something triggered him and that really made him mad. <laughs> so I turn because I'm going home and this guy follows me. He follows me all the way to my home. I noticed that he's following me. I was on the phone with my mom actually at the time and I go somewhere that isn't my home so the dude doesn't know where I live. Um, and anyway, there's this part that I got to that it's like a loop <laughs> and he goes on the other side of the loop so he get, and I was honestly afraid I was gonna like die cause I was like, what if he gets right in front of my car? I'm trapped, I'll have to reverse it, reverse out of there. Um, yeah, I don't know, I was, I was honestly really afraid. <laughs> but he doesn't do that, he just goes right next to me. He has his window down, he's just calling me every terrible word in the book. I've never been called any of those things ever in my life. Like, I couldn't even fathom that there's people actually like that, that get that angry and would yell at someone. And the thing is, is it was completely out of my control. It was snowing. I hit ice. Like, it wasn't like I did a dumb thing driving. Can I help you? <laughs> like, it wasn't like I did a dumb thing driving. Okay, you can yell at me if I did something stupid, whatever. But it was completely out of my control. <laughs> anyway, the whole thing happened. I finally got home, called my mom back, told her I was alive, I was good. But I don't know, it just got me thinking about like road rage. And what's funny is the entire time I was thinking about, I read a story a, literally a couple years back of this road rager on 95 going south. He got really mad at this older couple and just pulled a gun out and shot and killed the wife. Like just there on the interstate on 95 going south. And I'm like, that's crazy that people can act like that. And I had never experienced that before. And I don't know, while, the entire time he was following me, I was literally thinking about that story. I was like, this is it, I'm probably gonna die. I don't know what's happening. Looking back, I probably should have just completely ignored him. Like, whenever he's right beside me, I should have just kept like just turning. Like, I shouldn't have looked at him and told him like I'm slowing down because I think that's what like triggered him to like wanna follow me. Um, but yeah and another thing i also could have done is drive to a police station because if i go there he's obviously not gonna bother me but i was on my way home and i honestly i don't even know where a police station is i should probably know that <laughs> i have always kind of been aware of my surroundings when i'm driving i always try to see if people are following me if there's someone sketchy i meet um especially when i'm by myself um but i never thought that that, that would actually happen and for you to, and the thing is, is I was very close to home whenever this happened. So it, I think where it was so close to home, it kind of like shook me up as well because I don't know, you feel like you're basically home because you're so close and you feel like this guy literally followed you to your house and you're just like, what in the world? Literally someone, I don't know, followed me home to be aggressive with me and it's like this grown man. 
I don't know. It's it just blows my mind that that happens in the world. Like there's people out there like that. <laughs> like I know it happens. Like people honk or whatever. But for someone to follow you home, and that's the thing. I didn't go home because I was like, I don't I don't want this creep knowing where I live. Anyway, regardless, I don't know. That's just like a wild thing. And I've learned a lot from the experience. <laughs> I did proceed to cry for probably about two, three hours after the entire incident. <laughs> and looking back, it was so funny. I remember talking to like uh, my brother about it. And I was like, I feel like I'm literally crying because someone yelled at me. <laughs> I'm like, that's the most cliche like girl thing to do. But I think it's where I was like so close to home. I just, I was by myself. So if any of you went through something like that, because definitely this is a first for me. Uh, <laughs> I've definitely had people honk at me to like go or do some whatever thing in the car, but I've never had someone honk at me for that long, flip me off for literally sliding on ice when there's like snow everywhere <laughs> and, and then proceed to like follow you home. Like, what was he trying to get out of that? That's what I don't understand. And then all he does is flip me off and scream at me and call me every name in the book. And I just looked at him, which I probably shouldn't have done. I just looked at him and went. But I'm alive. I was worried about my car for like a day after, which doesn't make any sense because I wasn't even close to home. Um, I was like, is he going to come back and slash my tires or something crazy? <laughs> it's funny how your mind just gets like in a weird... But I do know that not the majority of people are like that. I think I just got one rando weirdo that is just a hothead or something. I think she wants to be in it. I think the cat knows I'm upset, so she's she's sitting on me. <laughs> but anyway, that happened to me the other day, but I'm good now. It's just funny how when something like that happens, you really do think about it for like the next few days. You're just like, analyzing every possible nook and cranny of the whole situation and you're thinking next time I'll do this or next time I'll do that or next time I won't do this or you know that kind of stuff but anyway that's all that I have for the vlog today I hope you guys had a great day today was kind of chill just kind of getting little stuff done I'm excited to give the peaches to grandma and grandpa hopefully they don't watch this vlogs I know sometimes they do <laughs> So if they do, um, she did tell me that this is what she wanted for Christmas. So uh, they, they already know. Anyway, let me know down below. Has anything crazy like that happened to you uh, while you're driving? Like any crazy road rager that you're just like, dude, what the heck do you want me to do? <laughs> I would love to hear them. And anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.